hey man, Javon Kinlaw is pretty fantastic. Uh, I'm going to tell you why in a little bit, but he's a uh, three tech. In my personal opinion, he plays all over the place. He plays, you know, zero, one, three, uh, also at five or whatever defensive end. But here, here's my thing. Like, I normally hate it when people take three techs and be like, oh, he played defensive end in college. Therefore, he should play defensive end in the league. I hate that shit. Put them kids at three tech where they belong and quit playing. This time is different. Because I truly think Javon Kenlaw can play defensive end because he's tall. And if you look at him next to Derrick Brown, like they the same height and weight almost, like combine nerds help me out. Uh they're the same height and weight almost, right? But you know, Derrick Brown look a little more pudgy. And Kenlaw actually looks like a defensive end, right? So I think he's a he's a he's a certain type of situation where I would accept him playing um, DN at the uh, at the uh, next level. But let's just talk about some of these D tackle uh, clips and positivities. And as whoops here, he's gonna be an A gap right here. And hey, if you want to play a little bit of one tech on passing downs, I, I mean I don't hate it. Uh, because if he's at one tech on passing downs, then what he's going to do is he's just going to be quicker than people inside. Uh, but he's also he's also going to be powerful. Now, should there be some kind of countermeasure to make sure he's not double team like you want to blitz a linebacker in that B gap, maybe or something just so you can make it three versus three. That'll be fun. That'll be fun and entertaining. Uh, but boy, just look at what <laughs> look at what Javon Kenlaw is just doing to the center right here, man. Just taking all lunch money and whew, um. He's good versus the run in the past because he's talented, if that makes sense, right? Like he's he's not a natural run reader or a natural pass rusher. You know, he doesn't have this uh, this big tool belt full of moves, but his natural ability uh, kind of allows him to be uh, present in every facet of the game. Like here's another example of him just picking this young man up and just placing him in the backfield that this is a damn traffic accident, man. I'm, I'm not here for like, like he's he right. Look at him. <laughs> Look at the center, man. He he didn't get a lot of sacks this game. I don't think he got a lot of sacks like like in in general. Like uh, stat nerds help me out with that. I don't know what his sack number is, but he damn sure gets a lot of pressure, and he can get more sacks uh, if he had more polish. And that goes back to him being raw. So let's just remember that as well. This him versus Alabama here. This is and I, and I wanted this angle in particular, right? Because I had the cartel view. This is the cartel view for those of you that are new here i had the cartel view of this but it it didn't give it justice because it was it just looked like it was just he was just going backwards right but you got to see it from the wide angle to see what this ass what really looks like right <laughs> you know what i'm saying um look at that just picking this big 300 pound kid up now this ain't number 65 from the Derek Brown video. So let's just put that out there and let that be known. But this is an SEC offensive lineman. This is an Alabama offensive lineman. And Alabama don't uh, sign bad players or whatever. And Derek Ken, uh, not Derek Kenlaw, uh, Javon Kenlaw just just smoking this kid, man, and chasing, uh, chasing, um, chasing Tua around. And I think that's another thing that we gotta uh, that we gotta acknowledge here. Like if he's playing inside that presence of like he ain't just quick like he he can move a little bit you know what i mean so he was able to get Tua down because Tua has movement and we got to talk about how important that is because new quarterbacks aren't statues anymore like the old Tom Brady type type quarterbacks. Like once Brady gone, like ain't gonna be no more quarterbacks that's just standing in the pocket. Like they all can run now. So you gonna need your three tech, your one tech, you're gonna need those guys to be able to run as well. And I think that's a good example of it. He is a bit raw though. So when we talk about D linemen coming off the ball and like punching people, like I want them to keep their head up so they know where the hell they're going. This this gives you all indication of how raw of a of a player he is. Like this really this is the one play that gives you the perfect example of what a raw football player is. First of all, I ain't recommending none of my football players to come off the ball put their head down and dig their shoulders into anybody with no hands, right? That makes me sick. I can't stand it. But Back to rawness. Javon Kinlaw is so fantastic that he's going to get his left hand on the top of the shoulder pad here of this right guard, and he's just going to pull that dude. He's just going to pull that dude and just get him the hell up off of him, man. Like that, 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 that's, that's, that's top tier, man. That's high quality H2O, man. That is pure talent right there, getting back inside to find the ball after he picks his, picks his damn head back up. I'm not fussing at you, Javon Kinlaw, but 
<laughs> don't be putting your head down and digging your shoulders into people. But don't forget him grabbing that shoulder pad because that seems to be uh, the one move that he that he, uh, that he likes to go to. He likes to pull cloth and swim over the top of it. Let me show the play, and then I'll um, rewind it and talk about it a little bit. <clears throat> He's going to be uh, lined up, head up with this uh, with this guard here in this two technique. But he's going to come off the ball, and so the center is going to down block on him. Cool. He's going to um, come off the ball and engage with the center. This is what I want from you, uh, Ken Law. Keep your head up and see what the hell's going on. But you see that engagement right there. He's got that right hand on that on that left shoulder pad there. He's going to pull that damn thing, and he's going to rip over the top of it. And that's, uh, that's his one move that he kind of goes to. Now, once he gets coaching, he's going to have a lot more moves uh, in his tool belt or whatever, but that's one that he likes to use. Same thing here. We got him in uh, B-gap where he belongs here uh, versus uh, his right guard maybe, unless there's another. Yeah, cool. Same thing, right? <clears throat> Same, same, same concept. Come off the ball, engage, see where you at. I'm going to get a good grip on your shoulder pads, pull it, and swim over the top of it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Maybe one more, I think. Maybe we got one more. Where is he at? He's at zero. Head up over the center right here. Let's take a look at him. Should be the same thing. Yeah, but this time he had a little had a little movement up front. So let's see what happened. He was head up with the center. Uh, yep, him and his three take slanted. Boom. He's going to end up engaged with this guard here. Same thing. It, it was quicker this time. He didn't actually get a grip on the, on the uh, shoulder pad, but same little concept so yeah he's gonna have to add like different hand moves to his to his tool belt or whatever but once he once he does that he'll be all right uh, i got another play what happens on this play what happens on this play? oh yeah this okay this is probably just me just showing y'all him just being physically you know <laughs> uh, you know just just being physically just 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 terrorizing how he's how he's uh being being comboed here but he's gonna keep his eyes up find the football and just Get hands on guys, just pure disruption there. But uh, let's move on. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a Fire Stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a Fire Stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. <clears throat> Something else I noticed, too. This was, this was an Alabama game. It's another um, clip I just kind of wanted to show y'all. I think once he gets blocked, he stays blocked. Now, granted, it's hard as hell to block him. Let's just get that understood. It ain't easy to block this dude. But I think once you get him to a point to where he doesn't whoop you with his with his quickness and speed, he doesn't whoop you with his power, and you actually get a good set on him. Like, like look at this offensive lineman right here, man. I know a lot of coaches ain't preaching hands inside no more. Y'all get out of here, bro. Hands inside, great base, uh, good knee bend. And we just going to walk with Javon Kenlaw, man. We just going we just gonna to walk with him, bro. He's just gonna walk with you, and once he's blocked, like he's like, now what? <laughs> he's like, oh my god, I'm useless, right? Uh, so yeah, like he he's he's gonna have to like at at this point, right? Well, well, let's see, boom, 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 boom. I'm blocked. Bam. Let me plant my foot and cross his face or something. Let me get a move to the outside. Let me figure out a new way to do this. Uh, I think some coach is gonna get hands on him and uh, teach him how to you know do some other pass rush things, but. That's Javon Kenlaw, man. Uh, we may do a debate one day on one of my live streams. Uh, you know, the Kenlaw versus Brown debate. You know, <laughs> Brown versus Kenlaw sound like a sound like a court case or whatever. But uh, we may we may do that on you know one one of these live streams because there is a community of people that think Javon Kenlaw is better than Derek Brown. You know that that may that may be something that we do. So um, yeah, man, uh, Javon Kenlaw, man, fantastic pretty much said all i had to say about him uh we'll we'll, we'll see who who drafts him you know Hope, hopefully it's my team i like him a lot um now somebody in the chat box you know some somebody in the comments somewhere they're gonna ask me so so vice like who you like more uh Derek brown or javon kenlaw well i don't know yet my cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. 
Some people pay two hundred plus dollars a month. I paid one twenty a year, or you can go fifteen a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get twenty five hundred HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com, hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it.